Hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a mixed haul a few different bits from a few different places so this video might jump about a bit because I've sort of filmed different parts at, uh, on different days so I'll be in different clothes as we go along so hope you enjoy it. So a couple of bits from Tesco next. Uh, this first one clashes a bit with what I'm wearing but you know I absolutely love the colour pink especially this colour. So I love this, this is sort of coral, and then this is more of a, a baby pink. Probably not the best combo to be wearing to show you, but I'll put on a, um, a try on haul, sort of in the split picture. I got this from the children's section. I walked by it and I thought that is just a little bit of what I would like. Age 13 to 14, so I wasn't sure if it's gonna fit or not. So you've got tracksuit bottoms, and the thing that caught my eye this i love hearts i love pink this is just me in a tracksuit so at the grand old age of 46 i am now not sure if i'm a little bit old to wear it but i love it so that's the bottoms uh, cuffed at the bottom but on the try and try on i'll show you i sort of turn them up which makes them look a bit more like a trouser actually rather than a jogger and then the top is what just caught my attention. So it's a plain hoodie, but with the hearts, and it was on sale. Why is it when you buy something like this, you have to feel the need to do it back up? Uh, yeah, it was on sale, and I can't find the price tag. Here we go. So yeah, age um, 13 to 14, 18 pounds for the two, and I got it for nine quid. So really, really chuffed with that. What I was thinking is, I actually do, I don't mind it together. Now I've seen it on the try on that I did before I started filming this bit. I actually think I can get away with it at home, it'd be okay. Um, and with the white trainers, it looks nice. But what I did think originally is I could split it up and wear this with a pair of jeans or whatever. That's, you know, a normal hoodie. And then the bottoms I could wear with maybe um, a cream hoodie or a black hoodie, whatever. Navy might look quite nice with pink, but maybe not the two together to go out of house, but separately they'll be fine. So let me know what you think about the two together for me. Please don't be mean. I do have feelings. And then I also got a couple of other bits from Tesco for my little nephew Dre, who has hit his third birthday. I'll pop a couple of pictures or a picture of him in now. Anyway, so I've said previously, I'm buying things when I see them in the sale, you know, for further down the line when he's a bit older. So I bought him some of these last year. They were grey though, grey with, I think they have black stars on. And um, my mum and brother said he absolutely loved them. He wore them all the time in the winter. So when I saw these, I thought I'm going to get another pair. So this is the navy version with a sort of a mint green star. It's a pair of fleecy pyjamas should have been seven pounds down to five and then these are an absolute bargain more pyjamas he's going to have more pyjamas than he needs for for the forthcoming autumn winter we're not even in summer yet i'm sorry to talk about uh, later in the year but you know needs must so three pairs of pyjamas um long sleeved long legged and these were 16 pounds down to seven pounds. Three pairs of pajamas. Look at those stripy ones. He's gonna look like he's a little robber. Yeah, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. And then this, I'm not sure if I dare even show it <laughs> in light of this being spring summertime, but Tesco had an offer on, age three to six years. So last year, I really struggled to get him. Adam asked me, my brother, um, asked if I get him like a hat scarf combo bundle and do you know what I couldn't find one or one that was decent or at a decent price so this is the second one I've found now I've already found a, a Primark one so we've got a lovely woolly bubble hat matching gloves not mittens a lot of them have mittens but you know when kids get a bit older they don't want to be wearing mittens do they and then a scarf so this little combo should have been £12. Bargain of the day. Three quid! So can't say no for that, can you? 
So I've just popped onto this video with a little product review. I've got a couple of products to show you. I've got a cool, cooling duvet, cooling blanket and some pillowcases. So these are actually quite magic. So it's bedding that helps to regulate your body heat. So if you're a, um, a hot, hot sleeper who sweats in the evening, um, or if you're on the menopause, absolutely fantastic for that. They regulate your body heat and help you from and prevent you from getting too warm while you're asleep. It's absolutely bizarre. Even stood here, I've been stood here now filming this for 20 minutes because I keep making mistakes and I'm not even hot and I'm not cold. I can't, I can't describe how it works. It's bizarre. So quite cool to the touch. And then underneath it's 100% um, cotton. So the pillowcases are exactly the same, super duper cooling to the touch and very smooth and silky, which help with preventing frizzy hair. And also, you know, when you get those bed wrinkles when you sleep against a pillow and it all scrunches up. Yeah, it helps to prevent those as well. So all three products are anti-allergy and can be machined washed, which is even better. Um, they come in a couple of colours, but what I'll do is I'll put all the links to the products in the description box down below below um, all from Amazon and range price wise from $18.99 to $39.99 so I shall be looking forward to giving these a test run I'm just going to pop over to another clip now where you can see me in one so here I am under the uh, blanket I wasn't quite sure what to expect from this it's, it's very bizarre it feels quite heavy as I've already said but it to the touch it feels very cool but underneath it I'm not cold, but I'm not too hot. So I'm going to look forward to testing these out during the summer and getting some better night's sleep. Back to the rest of the haul now. So I'm going to add a few of the bits onto this haul because I've not got enough really for one big haul. So just a pack of socks from Primark. These are for my little nephew and they're too big for him at the minute. They're aged three to six. Actually, he's just turned three. Uh -huh. Anyway, these are lovely. Seven pairs of trainer socks for £2.80. They've got days on them. I love them. And then something else for my nephew. These are home bargains next. I've got this Hey Dougie cake kit for 99 pence. So they they make little cupcakes and you put the little, uh, the sort of rice paper transfers that stick on the top. Um, actually, I'm thinking I might have had these from B&M, actually. Yes, I did. So they've got them in vanilla and chocolate, so I got vanilla. These next bits are from Home Bargains. I've got a packet of Candarelle. This is a Whopper, 400 tablets, you get 33% extra free. And they were only 150. So these are instead of command hooks. So these are called Smart Strips, strong hold, clean removal, no fixings, no fuss. Seriously strong stuff, four large pairs of hook and loop strips. So when I go on holiday later in the year, I have a little uh, mosquito net over my bed because there's a lot of mozzies in Italy where we go. Um, there's a lot of foliage, tracks loads on. Normally I put these little command hooks on, pull them down, off we go. But I can't remember... I've actually left my mosquito net there because it's the same place we go to every year and I can't remember if I've got any hooks. So I thought I'm going to try these this time. I've somehow got to work out how I'm going to get them stuck to the mozzie net and then to the wall. Hopefully they'll all stick together and then can, at the end of it, pull it down. Won't damage the wall. And then also from Home Bargs, look at this. It is a lap tray. This is for my little nephew, Rawson. It's only two ninety nine, and they had them in this blue version for boys, and they also had a pink version for girls. So when he comes down here, but actually, because the last time he came, he's, he's too small to sit at our dining table at the moment. And sometimes you don't want formalities, do you? It's, sometimes it's nice to sit around and have a chat while you're having your dinner. Uh, while well, you're having your dinner. So I thought he can join in with this lovely little lap tray. One more thing. I forgot. One of you lovely subscribers. I won't put your name in case you don't want to be named. Recommended these to me. Um, I've become a bit of a toilet roll snob. And we started using a lot of Andrex. And this subscriber said to me, I can't believe you've not tried the Nikki toilet rolls from Home Bob. So I said, on your recommendation, I will. Uh, how many did you get in here? These were 4 99 and you get 18 rolls. 
that is very good value i like the texture of them the only problem is they're enriched with lotion and fragrance so i'm a bit concerned these might uh tip me over the edge with the old thrush but i'll have a go i will try them because if these are as good as andrex they're a lot cheaper and that will be a massive massive find for me if that's the case from Aldi, another packet of these, the Mamia Biodegradable Sensitive Skin uh, Baby Wipes, 69p. So this next bit I wanted to show you, I bought from a fellow YouTuber who's called Carla Jenkins. And I know a lot of you already watch her, but she's a, an eBay reseller. So what she does is she goes to charity shops and car boot sales, buys bits and then sells them off on eBay. And she does like a haul every week on her channel, which I watch religiously every week. So I'm just fascinated by it. How much the stuff she gets is so cheap. It, it, it's crazy. Anyway, she buys a lot of Kath Kidston stuff. I like Kath Kidston stuff. And she had this. She showed us this and I was just, I need it. I absolutely love this design. The red with the um, the sort of a beige polka dot. My mum's got this actually in a crossbody bag, which I absolutely love, with a purse, which she was also selling. So I was absolutely delighted. Only problem is, it's not the freshest. Not her fault, but wherever she bought it from, it smells a bit. And I've had in it for a couple of weeks, which hasn't made an awful lot of difference. So I don't think I'll be buying many more of these. One of the uh, Primark air freshener things. So I've got that and then the purse, which is lovely. I don't know if this purse has even been used. Look at that. So I'm absolutely delighted with that. And now I've shown it to you, I can finally use it. So I hope you've enjoyed that mixed haul. If you have, please do give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, maybe you might consider hitting the old button. It is absolutely free and helps my channel to grow. And thank you very much for watching. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.